Picture this. It's the end of the month, your bills are piling up, and you're trying to figure out how to stretch your paycheck to cover everything. You're knee-deep in spreadsheets and receipts, and you're wondering why you ever thought budgeting was a good idea. You're caught up in the budgeting blues, feeling more like a number-crunching robot than a human being. And let's be honest, the thought of giving up and splurging on that shiny new gadget is looking more and more appealing. We've all been there, right? Feeling overwhelmed by our finances and questioning whether budgeting is even worth the hassle. It's a common plight, a chore that seems to take more than it gives. You're left asking the question, is budgeting really worth it, or is it just a torturous exercise in self-deprivation? If you're nodding along, you're not alone. But is there a better way? Stick around to find out. Budgeting, it's not the most exciting word, right? But what if we told you it's really about planning for a future where money woes don't keep you up at night? Yes, you heard it right, is essentially just a fancy term for financial planning. It's like a roadmap that guides you towards your financial destination, giving you control over your money rather than letting your money control you. Imagine going on a road trip without a map. You might eventually get to where you want to go, but you'll likely make a lot of wrong turns and waste a lot of time along the way. That's what your financial journey is like without a budget. But with a budget, you're the one in the driver's seat. You decide where your money goes and you can set and achieve financial goals, whether that's paying off debt, saving for a dream vacation or buying a home. And let's not forget about the reduced stress. We've all felt that sinking feeling when an unexpected bill arrives, right? Well, budgeting can help to eliminate those nasty surprises. Research has shown that people who budget experience less financial stress. They're also more likely to have savings for emergencies, and they're less likely to be in debt. So budgeting isn't about restriction, it's about freedom. Freedom from stress and uncertainty. It's about empowering yourself to make informed decisions about your money, and ultimately, about your future. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks. Your journey towards financial freedom awaits, so grab your map and let's get started. But we hear you, budgeting isn't a walk in the park, it can feel restrictive like a financial straitjacket holding you back from the sweet temptation of impulse buys. And time-consuming? Oh, absolutely. It's not just about jotting down numbers on a piece of paper or an app, it's about tracking expenses, categorizing them, and then constantly updating your budget as life happens. And sticking to it? That's a whole other story. It's like sticking to a diet plan while you're living in a candy store. But here's the thing. Budgeting is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a journey, not a destination. It's about trial and error, about finding what works for you and what doesn't. It's about understanding your spending habits, your financial goals, your limitations, and your strengths. But like any journey, it's about learning, adjusting, and finding what works for you. So you're thinking, is budgeting really for me? Well, it depends. Let's be real. Budgeting can be a game changer for those living paycheck to paycheck, grappling with debt, or working towards specific financial goals. It's like a roadmap, guiding you through the financial wilderness and helping you avoid those pesky money pits. But hey, not everyone's a fan of spreadsheets and calculators. If the thought of budgeting makes you want to run for the hills, don't sweat it. There are alternatives. Automated savings, for instance, can be a great way to stash away cash without lifting a finger. Set it, forget it, and watch your savings grow. Or, consider mindful spending. This isn't about depriving yourself, but making thoughtful decisions about where your money goes. It's about understanding the difference between needs and wants and prioritizing accordingly. Remember, it's not about a one-size-fits-all approach, but finding a method that makes your money work for you. So, you're ready to give budgeting a shot, or maybe a second shot. But, how do you make it work? Well, let's dive in. First things first. Find a budgeting method that fits your lifestyle. Yes, there's more than one way to budget. Maybe you're a tech enthusiast who loves having everything in your smartphone. For you, budgeting apps could be your best friend. Or perhaps you're old school and love the feel of pen and paper, then spreadsheets or envelopes could be your go-to method. Now, onto the tips for success. Setting realistic goals is key. If you plan to save 80% of your income while spending only 20%, you might be setting yourself up for disappointment. So, keep it real. Consistent tracking is another must. You can't just set a budget and forget about it. Keep an eye on your spending habits and adjust your budget as needed. Don't forget to regularly review your budget. Life happens, expenses change, and your budget should reflect that. Reviewing your budget can help you stay on top of your financial game. And last, but definitely not least, celebrate your progress. 
Did you stick to your budget for the entire month? That's a win. Did you pay off a debt? That's a big win. Celebrating your wins, big or small, can make the journey of budgeting enjoyable. With the right approach and a little persistence, budgeting can be more than bearable. It could even be rewarding. So, is budgeting worth it? We'll let you be the judge. We've talked about the power of planning, how it gives you control, helps you reach your goals, and reduces stress. We've also unveiled the challenges, acknowledging that budgeting can feel restrictive, hard to stick to, and time-consuming. But remember, budgeting is a journey, not a destination. We've pondered if budgeting is right for you. It certainly benefits those living paycheck to paycheck, those in debt, and those with financial goals. But if you dislike budgeting, there are alternatives like automated savings and mindful spending. We've discussed how to make budgeting work by finding a method that fits your lifestyle, whether that's using apps, spreadsheets, or envelopes. And we've shared tips for success, set realistic goals, track consistently, review regularly, and celebrate progress. Budgeting is a powerful tool and it doesn't have to be complicated. Explore different methods, find what works for you, and remember, your financial journey is unique. Now go out there and show your budget who's boss.